decision is looming that could impact the future of some short-term rentals like Airbnbs in Nashville. Tomorrow, Metro Council members will vote on a bill that many across the city are watching closely. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon is at the historic Metro Courthouse with a preview. What's expected, Emily? Well, it's no secret that Airbnbs and short term rentals are very popular throughout Nashville. Just take a look at this map. You can see how many are here, especially in neighborhoods like East Nashville and 12 South. But many people say a lot of these are run by investors who don't even live in the homes, but they still rent the properties to guests. And that is what they want to see stopped. Uh, right now, every Nashvillian is subject to having one of these next door to their home. You're really one for sale sign away from one of these. And it, I can tell you, tell you there are people that have literally sold their home and moved because of these. The Nashville Neighborhood Alliance is just one group that supports the crackdown on investor owned short term rentals. They say these properties are commercial businesses that are operating in residential areas and they often turn into party houses and disrupt neighborhoods. Meanwhile, Airbnb and the Nashville Area Short Term Rental Association have fought the bill, saying many people rely on these properties as a source of income. Councilmember Larry Hager, who is sponsoring the bill, says current permit holders could renew their permits until June of 2019, and then the permits would be phased out by 2021. He says this makes it fair to people who have invested in the properties. Well, you've had a 37% increase in property values in Nashville, and also this is a three-year phase-out program, so they can, during that three years, recoup their investment, and then at the end of that three years, they can either sell their property or they can rent it out long term. There are actually three bills on the council agenda tomorrow dealing with short term rentals, but none deal with owner occupied homes. There will be a public hearing first where people can voice their opinions and then council members will vote. We'll continue to keep you updated on this developing issue. Reporting live at the Metro Courthouse, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. A lot of people